Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Tawbah, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, لَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي مَوَاتِنَا كَثِيرَةً وَيَوْمَ حُنَيْنٍ إِذْ عَجَبَتْكُمْ كِثْرَتِكُمْ فَانْتُغْنِ عَنْكُمْ شَيْئًا وَضَاقَتْ عَلَيْكُمُ الْأَرْضُ بِمَا رَحُبَتْ ثُمَّ وَلَّيْتُمْ مُدْبِرِينَ Inshallah today we reflect on this ayah where in Surah Tawbah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us لَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي مَوَاتِنِ كَثِيرَةً Allah had supported you and made you victorious in so many multi locations or times or battles. And he gives us the example of Yawma Hunayn, the day, the day of Hunayn. And Hunayn is a valley outside of Mecca, close to Al Ta'if. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the scene is A'jabatkum Kisratkum. The Muslims were proud of themselves. Proud because they, when they went to open Mecca, there was 10,000 and then joined by 2,000 from the new Muslims in Mecca, they became 12,000 and they heard that the tribes outside of Mecca want to attack Mecca. So Rasul decided to go and attack them first and led this army of 12,000, a great army. The leader of the horsemen is Khalid ibn al-Walid. They felt so strong and so proud of themselves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing the Muslims is a'jabatkum kisratkum. You look at yourself and you're proud of yourself. And you think we cannot be defeated because of our numbers and our great army, subhanallah. And if we look here, inshallah, as we said before, the Muslims in Sulh al-Hudaybiyyah, there were 1400 Muslims going to al-Hudaybiyyah. And with the peace treaty with Mecca, three years later when the Muslims went to open Mecca, there was 10,000, 10, subhanallah. So I went up by six folds in the time of peace. After maybe 17, 18 years of Islam, there was 1400 Muslim men going to Al-Hudaybiyyah. After three years of peace, 10,000 men going, subhanallah. It shows that Islam grows in peace. And that's why uh, the Quraysh broke the treaty because they knew if they leave the peace so long, the Muslims will outgrow them and will be much stronger, subhanallah. And that's why we see in the media today, on Islam, the onslaught in Islam from the media. Because Islam was the fastest growing religion around the world and it bothered some people. So you have to put in the media this attack and this war on Islam, subhanAllah, to stop this fast growth. Because Islam left alone and left in peace, people will adopt it by themselves, subhanAllah. So here, the Muslims are going into the valley of Hunayn, 12,000 of them. And the Muslims looked at themselves and said, we cannot be defeated because of our numbers. So proud of themselves. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is describing, أَعْزَبَتْكُمْ كِسْرَتْكُمْ فَلَمْ تُغْنِ عَنْكُمْ شَيْئًا It did not do anything for you. It did not protect you. It did not help you, the numbers. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to teach us the lesson that keeps repeating in the Quran, وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَكِيمِ Victory is only from Allah. And we have to understand this. It is not by the numbers. And how many of us says if we can only unite the 1.5 billion Muslims around the world, it's not by the numbers. It is by what's in the heart and the belief in the heart.